Hello, and welcome to the TV room. For a while now, I've had this little meter here. And I thought, gee, I should really do something with it. Anyway, there are supposed to be two screws in it. There was only one. And then once you get the back off, you see that there's just one little wee battery inside, and that's it. That's all. And then which I have replaced. There was no battery in it, which is probably just as well, because they have a tendency to leak. And the only reason I had this battery handy is because it's the same that what I think would go in a remote for a garage door. So as I only have one screw, I'm going to put it in. I'll see if I can get it to be secure. I'm trying, it is a Phillips screw drive screw thing, but I'm using a flat blade because it's small enough. So when I put the screw in, of course, I find that then the meter comes on. I've always, though, been perplexed by things with meter in that continuity. It's supposed to make an, a sound. And that means basically, you know, is it is it working? Is it there? And I'm doing now it does nothing. No, originally when I had this this was in here. And it reads nothing. But when I touch it, it reads nothing. Or minus nothing. I am confused. I don't know if this thing is working or not. And I don't want to really... Oh, well, hang on here. Bolts. Here's something I can check. This is a battery that I think is dead. I think it's the one I kept so I knew what kind of battery to get for the remote. And it reads not much of anything. But you know what? If I open this drawer here, where I know... Whoa, don't do that. Don't knock that down. I recently put some other things in here that I know are good. So here is a battery. So this look at that. Okay, so this is a 1.5, I was reading 1.6. That should be fine. I'll put this one back in the cupboard so I know what to get to replace the others for. These two, now that see, I usually keep them wrapped in their stuff, so I know I haven't used them, I haven't done anything with them, but I've had to undo that. Oh well, put them back in the drawer, try not to knock anything down. And so now this meter should be working. It should be. For the moment, I will turn it off. I will leave it like this. Actually, you know what I might do? No, I don't. I would like to get this the cable separated. Anyway, as far as I can tell, it should be somewhat useful. And so there. So if you are going to ever, if you haven't made it like this, once you, I don't remember where I got this, but generally speaking, there's a battery inside. Need to take off the back, be very careful, and get the same kind of battery and put it in, and hopefully, hopefully, the meter will work. I should look at getting a better meter. I should. Twenty years ago, I remember my brother had one. And I thought, boy, I could really use that. I don't know where it went. Maybe he still has it. Anyway, batteries are important in a multimeter. I'll see what else I can. I can tinker with and figure with this little meter at some point. I could, I suppose, 
check some power set things inside this Commodore pet I'm looking at if I was brave. I shall ponder that. I shall see if I'm brave. Anyway, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll see you again soon in the TV room. Bye for now.